Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Penn National Racecourse, Granville, Pennsylvania on Saturday, August the 27th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at featured race 3 this evening, folks. 6.49 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Allison McClay Stakes. It's a 5 furlong sprint on the turf. 3-year-old fillies race for $50,000. Contenders number 3, Ocean Princess. Number six, Tony's the one. Number seven, Dixie Shea. And number eight, Wild About Tiffany. I'm going to go with a 15 to 1 bomb on top this evening, folks. As number three, Ocean Princess, holds the overall speed honors in this field. Sprinting at her about tonight's distance of five furlongs on the grass. Has hit the board in three of her last five, including back to back power run wins in her third and fourth races back. Number six, Tony's the one, a five to one shot in her own right. Could be a great exacta. Takes a class drop of eight units. Has hit the board in four of her last five adventures, winning three times, including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race three summary number three, Ocean Princess, tops my contenders list, which also includes number six. Tony's the one, number seven, Dixie Shea, and number eight, Wild About Tiffany. Three, six, seven, eight, and third from Penn National to fifty thousand dollar. Allison McClay stakes. Bonus long shots. Parks Racing race five, number nine. Damien's way six to one in the morning line takes a big class of some nineteen units. Good overall speed for this five and a half for a long sprint. Canterbury Park race five, number nine. Kelly's Mark a ninety two shot. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Drops in class by some 14 units. The overall speed leader in this maiden field this afternoon. Racing at or about today's distance of a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. So from Penn National on a Saturday night. Repeat them for day at the track.com. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.